Hey, welcome back. We're going to go to Vermont today. We're going to go to La Garagista Winery, Farm and Winery, uh, up in Vermont. You're going to have a great time. It's absolutely beautiful country up there. La Garagista is one of the best wineries in New England, certainly one of the most famous. Um, and you're going to see why shortly. Really great stuff. You're going to have fun. Let's go. No matter the time of year, it is a beautiful drive up the highways and byways and small back roads of Vermont to get to La Garagista. Some wonderful stuff going on. Now, of course, the problem is you're uh, probably asking, what am I going to do with wine made in Vermont? They're known for three things, skiing, cheddar cheese, and maple syrup. But that's really not true. La Garagista is on Mount Hunger, not far from Bethel, Vermont. Founded in 1999 by the husband and wife team of Deirdre Heakin and Caleb Barber, they are farmers. Deirdre Heakin is winemaker, organizer, writer, photographer, flower farmer, and would-be designer. Caleb Barber is a gardener, cook, designer, builder, mechanic, factotum, philosopher, and farm manager. They're aided by Camillo, the assistant, wine grower, organizer, creator, systems manager, and right hand. Their work at the farm and winery, both in the field and in the cellar, is guided by regenerative permaculture and biodynamic thought. Their land has been part of the small homestead farming for more than 200 years. They farm four separate parcels. There's two adjacent vineyards that are separated by a seasonal country road, and the other two are more remote, but are in the Champlain Valley. Their mission is to make quality wines and ciders that express their terroir and their individual vintages. La Gorizista makes natural wines and ciders as hands-off as possible. Deidre and Caleb believe that local wine goes with local food. They believe that well-grown ingredients make for good food and good wine. Deirdre and Caleb have made a huge name for themselves, not just with the quality of their wine, but with the grapes they're using. They're using the Minnesota hybrids, and here Caleb is going to tell you exactly what they have planted in their oldest vineyard site. So these nearest vines are Marquette in this block right here. And then diagonally down to the right is La Crescent. And then further over to the right, just across the alley from the Marquette, is Saint Croix, Frontenac Noir, uh, Frontenac Blanc, um, and some new vines that are uh, waiting to be trellised. And then likewise, down below the La Crescent, we have new vines um, that are just training up stakes this year, and we'll start installing trellising for those this year. Lest you think it's all fun and games, here's Caleb telling the story of one of their first vintages. So in August of 2015, we were standing right where we're standing now on a hot afternoon, really humid, towering clouds rolling in, and it started to hail. And it hailed hard for almost uh, at least 10 minutes, maybe as many as 15 minutes. But it made a noise like I had never heard. I mean, of course, on the roof above us, the din was ter terrific. And that year we had a really good crop on this vineyard and we thought we were gonna make uh, our first wines of any label-worthy uh, quantity. Um, from this vineyard, and we were really excited about it. Uh, we were gonna, we were gonna do a, a La straight La Crescent, a straight Marquette, uh, maybe a straight Frontenac Noir, because um, we wanted to see what those varieties tasted like just from this site. Uh, we do the same thing at our other two sites, and the damage from the hailstorm was such that the crop was dramatically reduced and we just decided to put everything together, process it together and make a pet net and be done with it and then just chalk it up to, to experience <laughs> vagaries of weather and, uh, and farming and um, we decided to call it house music. Some people have a house red or a house white and we thought, we're going to have house music. 
House music is a field blend of the wine from the home vineyard at La Garagista. This dark and inky wine uh, had notes of blueberry and cassis. It had a lovely uh, smoothness in the middle and a long lingering uh, red fruit uh, that was carried over with uh, acidity, really lovely acidity. It's a lovely effervescent wine with tremendous taste. Um, this was a huge crowd pleaser. I've had two bottles of it and it's always been a big winner. Vinou Jean Sou is the old Sicilian term for white wines made in the orange style. This is an orange wine made from Vermont grown La Crescent. The grapes were picked by hand and sorted. They were then pressed like red grapes and the wine was aged with the skins. The resulting wine is a big, big mouthfeel. It was a big, chewy white filled with apricot, savelle oranges, orange blossoms, dried pineapple, and other tropical notes. But there was a great amount of acidity in this wine which made it perfectly balanced. The wine was immensely layered and intricate in its flavors. I truly loved this wine, easily one of my favorites from these folks. In a Dark Country Sky is named for the constellation Taurus, one of the oldest constellations named uh, back in the Bronze Age. This is a wine made from estate Marquette, grown on clay and limestone and fermented whole cluster with wild yeast. This is a bright, fruity, spicy, medium-bodied red, young and vibrant with good mouth-watering acidity, no sulfites. You might like it chilled, uh, Deidre and uh, Caleb suggest, uh, but I had it room temperature at lunch and it was a wonderful wine that went great with pork, fowl, cheeses, pastas, just a great easy drinking wine. Che Confonde Rosso is among my favorites of their wines. The wine is a Marquette Petnat, old style, old, old style. First fermentation is actually in the bottle. Hand harvested from their Vergennes Vineyard in the Champlain Valley, it's unfiltered. The wine is bottled shortly after harvest and left to finish under a crowned cap. This is a medium alpine styled wine with notes of cherry and red currant, a big fruit forward nose. It's lovely fizz, really wonderful, a classic. Well, that's it for this one. Thank you very much to Deidre Heakin and Caleb. We really, really appreciate your time and uh, taking us around. I uh, want to say a big uh, shout out to Todd Traskos, uh, who's from Vermont Wine Media, uh, for helping me uh, set the uh, appointment up. And uh, wines are great. You're going to find them uh, where you can. They are in high demand, and uh, they're in some of the best restaurants uh, on the East Coast. And uh, you want to try these because they are unique and there's nothing else like them out there. So try to find a bottle of La Garagista and enjoy. Well, that's it for this edition of the Great American Winery Street Waffle. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you'll come back soon. And in the meantime, drink local.